Hey guys, so if you have a Samsung phone, I'm going to show you some really cool stuff that you can do from installing some cool custom fonts to using YouTube in the pip mode and a lot more stuff that is built into your device, but you're probably not using them and underutilizing your phone. So definitely like this video, also subscribe. Let's begin. So one cool thing that you can do is watch YouTube videos in that mini player similar to the pip mode so all you have to do is just open youtube and play some random video and open multitasking as usual and press and hold to get into this pop-up mode as you normally know now from the bottom corner just drag it up uh, just to resize it as per your liking and as you can see this has become a mini player now i can actually start playing this and also i can sort of put it wherever i want to on the screen also i can just open any app and use it just like a pip mode or that mini player works really well and very handy all right now moving on to installing some really cool custom fonts uh, i would suggest you this app because you don't have to download anything outside the play store you also need to grant all the permissions for this to work properly and also the downside is it has a lot of ads so you got to tolerate this but you can see here you have all the cool fonts available and you have different languages so it is uh, kind of fairly neatly presented also it is fairly easy to install it but let's look at how to install this let's say i want to install this particular font then i need to just click on the install and choose the recommended option so you can see all the steps are properly presented here so let me install one font so you need to first install the samsung sans font and once you do that just go into the settings and here search for the font style and here you need to change the font to the samsung sans here once you do that now you need to again go into the settings here and search for backup you need to back up only the settings part as it is shown on the screen and this is not google backup this is samsung's cloud backup guys so i'm going to deselect all of these and just choose this settings option and take a backup here so once you do that now you need to uninstall the samsung sans font right from here and also install the font that you want to install in this case the comic book so once you do this now you need to go back to the settings and change the font style back to the default as you can see and once you do this go into the settings again and here you need to restore the backup that we have taken earlier again this is samsung's own storage cloud storage as you can see here so now just choose the settings alone and restore this so as you can see the font style is already applied also this works system wide so your messaging or all of the stuff basically turns into this font so do try it out if you like fonts and stuff now moving on this is my personal favorite so whenever we are charging the phone it is usually away from us so reaching out to the phone for notifications particularly when you are working on the laptop can be irritating or when you are required to enter some otps from mobile it can be really annoying so the little remedy that i personally use is just go into the settings and search for the bixby routines so i set up a little condition for this whenever my phone is in charge as you can see whether it is wired or wireless i want my phone to read out all the notifications and here you can see this is the condition to set this up just click on the if section and choose the charging status now in the then section you need to choose uh, the functions and here choose the read notifications allowed and you can also choose which apps you want notifications from i personally chose just messages and that's pretty much it do definitely give it a try now this one is a very quick tip if you ever feel like your phone is slowing down or if you want this to speed up a bit then just click on the settings and search for the battery and device care and click on the battery here again click on the more battery settings here you will find something called enhanced processing by default this is turned off and it sort of underclocks the processor so if you want faster speeds in terms of app loading times you can just turn this on and uh, it should sort of improve your performance i mean you should totally do this like why not another little thing is sort of hidden in the default gallery app 
this may be useful for students or productivity in general so let's say i have captured a photo of some notes or a screenshot now let's say i don't know this language and i want to translate you have this little i button as you can see when you click that uh, you can also extract and copy the text and paste it in your notes app etc or you can also translate this and it works fairly well i would say the fact that it works uh, without installing any apps is something that comes in really handy so do try it out also similarly if you ever come across any notes or anything that you don't understand then you can simply open the camera app and here in the more settings you'll find the bixby vision this is obviously powered by the bixby vision and you can simply point your camera at it and simply get the translation as you can see here works fairly well not 100 percent accurate but yes it is kind of handy in that it is built into your phone so works similar to the google lens i would say another little productivity related tip is if you go into the voice recorder app now if you go into the settings here you will find some really cool things first up you need to put this to the maximum quality for better results obviously but you also have the support for external uh, bluetooth etc support for voice recording which is really cool i would say but more importantly i found this interview option to be really cool now once you start recording this will basically use uh, the mics on both the bottom and on the top so it basically captures from two ends so that it gives you a really good output i have tried this and i found this to be fairly good compared to other phones uh, because of this particular pattern i really like this not just that you also have something called the speech to text i mean you can sort of uh, dictate a quick notes if you are in a hurry or so but this is not 100 percent accurate again but kind of handy i would say so these are some of the settings or the tips and tricks that i personally like not that i just want to present you with all the a to z sort of tips and tricks that i may not even use so anyway that's been it guys if you found this video helpful please like this video also subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you soon